catfish. This fish is so cool. It's slightly sweet and mild, so it's perfect for a blackening spice. And catfish have these little barbels that come out of their face, and it looks like whiskers, hence the name catfish. But before I start on the catfish, I have a great tip for you for peppers. I like to blanch my peppers. Now, blanching is just a fancy term for submerging in boiling water and then in ice to stop the cooking process. Now, Blackening spice. You can't have blackened catfish without a blackening spice. It starts with cayenne. Cayenne's super hot! So I only use just a little bit. And the cayenne and the paprika, those are the spices that blacken. Once it hits that hot cast iron pan, they toast and burn, and it's essential in blackening spice. Onion powder and garlic powder, those are like the best aromatic dry spices that you can use. It gives it a ton of flavor. And then you have your dried herbs, so basil, some oregano, and I like equal parts of basil, oregano, and then thyme, and you gotta season it. Salt and pepper. I'm gonna use this spice not only to blacken the catfish, but I'm also gonna use it in the jambalaya, and I have a sweet recipe for jambalaya. Now, jambalaya starts with a few key ingredients. Onions, garlic, and it's all about the peppers. Jambalaya is a Creole dish, and it has just about everything in it. Rice, chicken, fish, and my version starts with sausage. Chorizo sausage. There's so much good fat and flavor in it. I just want the meat from the inside, so I take a knife, slice it down, and you can peel off the casing, and then you're just left with that gorgeous chorizo sausage. I start with the chorizo sausage first, and I just want that to kind of like leak into the oil and season the pan and get it ready for the veg. All in at the same time. Woo-wee! That smells delish. You didn't think I'd forget that blackening spice, did you? Not too much, because there's a lot of cayenne in there. There's honestly nothing like the smell of fried peppers and onions. Now, you can use whatever stock you have lying around. Fish, chicken, beef, or veg. And crushed tomatoes. That's key in jambalaya. And tomatoes and peppers together are a winning combination. This is a pepper party, baby. And these guys just need a few minutes to cook down, and then I can add the rice. Now, I pre-cooked my rice. I just put a little less water in it, and you can use whatever rice you want. Brown rice works really good. I'm using a short grain, and it's gonna drink that sauce. How simple is that? Because the rice went in there, I wanna season the rice. The rice needs a little love. Salt and pepper. All about the pepper. Done. Just kidding, catfish. Remember our blackening spice? I'm gonna cook it in cast iron and butter and oil, so when you put a lot of spice on, the butter's gonna drink it up. Butter and oil. Butter gives it flavor, and canola stops the butter from burning. Good duo. It's called blackened fish for a reason. That is perfect. Couple shakes of the pan, and it's finished. Just let it hang out for a minute, and we get to stuff some peppers. That fish is perfect. Right into the jambalaya rice. This jambalaya is gonna get stuffed into the pepper, so I want my ratio of catfish and rice to be a little ridiculous. Mostly fish, then a little bit of rice. I'm gonna flake it right in. Once it's flaked, you can just fold it in gently. We still wanna caress it, and we wanna give it a bit of love. Heaven, I'm in heaven. And here's a good tip when stuffing a pepper. Stuff over your pot of stuffing. That way, if anything falls like that, it goes back into the pot, because it's so good, 
You don't want to waste anything. And when you're stuffing, like, get it down in there. Stuff it. I always like to put a little bit of oil on the top. The oil is going to help it get a little bit of color when it's in the oven and some seasoning for the big bell. Into the oven, when you see some black, brown, crispy bits, that means flavor and it means it's done. Peter Piper picked the perfect pepper. Look at that color. The little brown bits on the rice and the black chard marks, that's flavor. Catfish, peppers, and a whole lot of love. Taste test. That's the big one! The catfish texture is so good and it holds up so wonderfully to the big, bold flavors in the blackening spice. That red pepper gives so much flavor to the rice. Catfish and jambalaya stuffed peppers. I'm making that again.